The Employee Snapshot feature provides managers with a way to quickly review and analyze data about their employees without having to navigate to various locations throughout the system. You can also personalize a Fluid homepage, such as Manager Self-Service, to display the Employee Snapshot tile to gain quick access to the Employee Snapshot pages. In this example, to access Employee Snapshot, we'll click the My Team tile and click the Related Actions menu for an employee. Then select the View Employee Snapshot item from the list. The Employee Snapshot shows a summarized view of talent-related information using tiles. Contextual views are displayed based on a business process that the manager wants to complete. The business processes can be configured on the left panel, and the content can be displayed on dashboards on the right. For Employee Snapshot, the PeopleSoft HCM application delivers the summary and promotion readiness business processes and dashboards to manage and analyze information about your workforce. The summary dashboard appears by default when you access the Employee Snapshot pages. The summary page provides a condensed view of the employee using tiles. The summary dashboard displays various tiles that provide very high-level information about the employee and may not be as detailed as other dashboard tiles. Four tiles are delivered with the summary category, Job Details, Compensation, Job Competencies, and Performance. You can click a tile to access modal pages and view details about the related information. On some modal pages, you can drill down further to see additional details about a specific row of data. This is indicated by the arrow at the end of the row. Some modal pages enable you to view data by category types. For example, the Job Competencies modal page groups the employee's competencies by how he compares to the target rating required by the job. The different target categories are accessible through touch points listed at the top of the page. When an employee does not have any competencies for a category, the touch point does not display. For each competency, the page displays a bar graph that gives you a visual comparison of the job targeted rating versus the employee's proficiency. Select a touch point to view only those competencies that fall within a category. This will give you a greater picture of how your employee is actually performing. You can view another dashboard category by selecting it in the left panel. Use the Promotion Readiness Dashboard to access tiles related to your employee's readiness for advancement. These tiles show more details than those on the Summary Dashboard. Four tiles are delivered with the Promotion Readiness, Current Salary, Job Competencies, Salary History, and Performance History. Drill down to view more details by selecting items or links within the tile. These will take you to other Fluid or Classic pages in the system to help you assess the promotion readiness of your employee. When using a small form factor device, like a smartphone, the employee snapshot pages adjust to fit the smaller screen. The page defaults to the summary dashboard. The left dashboard category panel is collapsed and is accessible as a slide-out panel. To change the view, select a different category by sliding out the left panel. You can drill down into each tile to view details, similar to the large form factor. This concludes the Employee Snapshot Feature demonstration. <music> Workforce Availability Analytics helps managers analyze their employees' time distribution against their schedule for a defined period. The analytics support a grid with a detailed list of values that enables managers to perform related actions without leaving the page. This completes our demonstration of the Workforce Availability Analytics feature. <music> Talent Acquisition Manager now includes a diversity overview chart that shows four important measures of diversity, ethnicity, gender, disability, and veteran status. You can see all diversity measures at once or drill down for a closer look at the specific diversity measure. Filters enable you to choose the date range to report on. You can also filter data by a variety of job data, including job title, job code, location, department, business unit, recruiter, and hiring manager. This completes our demonstration of the Recruiting Diversity Analytics feature.
Global Payroll Analytics comprises a robust set of pivot charts that enable payroll administrators to analyze payroll results so that they can quickly find and manage exceptions. Adding to the existing set of threshold analytics pivots, Image 19 introduces new variance analytics pivots. The Global Payroll Variance Analytics pivots display payroll results from two different pay periods, enabling you to compare previous and current values, looking for differences that exceed a certain amount. For example, you might want to look for payees whose salary increased or decreased by 10% or more from one period to the next. You can view variance analytics for gross pay, net pay, earnings, or deductions. This concludes our demonstration of the Global Payroll Variance Analytics feature. PeopleSoft HCM grants you the flexibility to configure name formats. Now you can define basic rules and configure names by format type. This information is stored in the new Name Format Detail table. Use the Name Format Types component to define which name fields to include on the Name Data Entry and Display pages. For each format type, define the order in which the field should display, indicate whether or not a field is required, and identify which label to use for each field. Text Catalog is used for the field labels and the same field can have different labels for different name formats. Configurations can vary by name format type. This component enables you to set up roles for the three formatted names in PeopleSoft, which are Display Name, Formal Name, and PeopleSoft Format. This concludes the Configurable Global Name Formatting demonstration. Fluid Candidate Gateway includes the following enhancements in Image 19. Refer a Friend functionality enables employees to refer a friend for a job. This illustration shows the two-step process for uploading a friend's resume and entering the friend's name and contact information. Additional enhancements include U.S. federal implementations that now support federal preferences and priority placement sections in job applications. The Terms and Conditions page in the job application has been redesigned for greater usability and the keyword field that applicants use to search for jobs now displays guidance text to help applicants understand the types of keywords they can use. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Candidate Gateway enhancements. Employees, managers, and administrators can now cancel submitted and approved absence requests using the new Absence Request Cancellation functionality. Simply select a reason for canceling and tap the Cancel Absence button. This concludes the Absence Request Cancellation feature demonstration. eSocial is a nationwide reporting system of Brazil that streamlines transmission of HR and payroll-related information from companies to the government in a centralized environment. In HCM Image 19, Additional eSocial events are supported. Web services are built to submit event outputs to the government and query submission results. A monitoring tool is also in place for administrators to track event statuses. This completes our eSocial for Brazil feature demonstration. The mobile payslip feature uses the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface to render payslip information for small form factor devices, enabling employees to view payslip information on their smartphones. As of HCM Image 19, this functionality has been implemented for the Global Payroll Country Extension shown. The Payment Summary page provides a brief summary of payslip information and enables you to access more detailed payslip information relating to earnings and deductions, payment distribution, payroll balances, absence balances, and payslip analytics. For Image 19, the Payment Balances page is no longer restricted to displaying year-to-date balances. You can configure it to display the relevant period, such as month, quarter, or year for the selected balances. This completes the demonstration of the Global Payslips feature. U.S. federal organizations 
capture and use data elements that are different from private organizations that have implemented PeopleSoft HCM. To provide effective service delivery to federal employees, the system delivers a new role and permission list, providing a different HRHD 360-degree view to the agents who have access to U.S. federal data. The permission list is similar to HRHD 360-degree view, but specifically used only for the HRHD 360-degree view for USF role. This completes our demonstration of the HR Help Desk for U.S. Federal feature. When using position management, the business title and position phone fields present in employment data get their values from the position corresponding to the current job record, provided the position data is not overridden. The Refresh Person Org Assignments AE Batch process keeps these fields updated in employment data whenever future dated rows in position data become current. This process also takes into consideration related language entries. Use the new Refresh Person Org Assignments page to specify if you want to update the fields based on incremental changes done to job data and position data or perform a full refresh on all current active jobs. You also indicate if the batch process should update the values in employment data using SQL or a component interface. This completes our demonstration of the Mass Updates for Business Titles feature. The PeopleSoft HCM system enables managers to view empty positions while viewing their My Team data using PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. When using position management and allow empty positions is enabled for direct reports, the text empty position will appear within the rows on the My Team pages when a position is not yet filled. This completes our demonstration of the displaying empty positions within My Teams feature. As part of My Number Phase 3 for Japan, the statutory reports have a format change from January 2016, and the numbers are displayed on the reports. The revision of the wage payment paper report includes the personal number, count of dependents, disabled dependents, and non-resident employees. This also includes the corporate number of the establishment, along with the address and the phone number. The revision of the wage payment report includes the corporate firm number. This concludes the demonstration of the My Number Phase 3 for Japan feature. Starting January 1, 2018, the earnings statement given to the employee must comply with a new model. This obligation is applicable from January 1, 2017 for employers with at least 300 employees. Employers have had the option to use the new payslip model since March 1, 2016. This new payslip helps to make more readable the amounts of contributions payable by employees and employers, taking into account the exemptions from which they can benefit. It also shows the total amount of contribution. This completes our demonstration of the Simplified Payslip for France feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, release notes on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.